This is the Condor Village Parang after I've done some modifications to it. Now I had a number of criticisms of this design in earlier videos having to do with the fact that there was too much mass in the handle that the blade grind was too thick and of course that the handle shattered uh, with relatively light impacts doing some splitting work. And the handle wasn't also very versatile in an overhand grip which is necessary for fine cutting. So after the handle exploded I took some time to do a few modifications. Now this isn't modified to the state where I would say it's representative of an actual village parang but it's closer towards it and I'm not confident enough in the steel yet to do the amount of work required to bring it there and I'll talk about that in a minute. Now there are a few shortcomings. The handle was brought up enough so and fully rounded so it can do an overhand grip with the thumb and this makes it almost neutral. You don't want a fully neutral because then it'll be relatively weak in a chopping grip but neutralizes the balance heavily which means there's not that much weight or torque in your hand and it gives you maximum leverage for finer cutting. I wanted to bring the handle up a little bit more. It should have actually came up probably about a quarter of an inch more because you just want your thumb to be right almost behind where the sharpened edge is but I only had a certain piece of um, Purple Heart so I was limited in terms of length. The hook still needs a bit more rounding out down here for when you're doing a partial grip down at the bottom to get maximum length uh, for reach for lighter brush cutting. I also cut away a fair amount of steel in this region again because I don't see the point in gripping up around the steel I would rather grip around the handle which is far more comfortable and far more secure. I also cut off that great big bulbous end down at the bottom. That wasn't needed. It is often found on traditional parangs but they don't have a big mass of steel uh, underneath it so you don't have that big heavy weight. And I knew I was going to be removing more material from the blade to thin it out so I had to chop off a bunch of material from the handle otherwise the center of mass would move too far back as would my impact point which would lead it to be non-functional. I also did just a hint of tapering on the tang mainly to get a feel for how difficult it was and get some personal respect for all the makers that I've been aggravating with requests for tapered and enclosed tangs. It's relatively difficult, relatively time consuming to properly taper a tang even on relatively easy to grind steels. I am going to fully taper this tang and fully enclose it if the blade performs relatively sensibly in terms of the steel at some point well, which, which and then I'll modify these scales probably uh, in order to fit it. The other thing that I did was the initial handle was fully round meaning basically it was as thick as it was wide. That makes it very insecure because it's very easy to turn the hand in the handle if the handle is round. This handle is much wider than it is thick so it's very stable in hand. The grind line now or this polish line is actually the full height of the grind line. On the Condor when you get it it looks like it's ground up to here but all they actually did was up around this area was just knock this basically off and the grind only starts from about a quarter of an inch down so you get a very abrupt splitting taper. This is a full almost flat grind from here to here with just a bit of uh, curvature to it. Again this is not where you want it to be. Ideally this should be a full height grind but if I did a full height grind on this it would re remove that much weight that it would shift all the balance points back. So to compensate for that I also need to fully taper this tang but again I will do that in the future just at this point in time I want to do a bit more work with it to get a feel for the quality of the steel and then I'll go back and make it. So this right now 
is much more functional than it was before. Uh, the only thing I have left to do basically is put the final finish on the handle. I want it a bit more textured than it is and then I'm just going to start oiling it. I'll probably use uh, linseed oil but I'm going to be using it relatively shortly and hopefully um, everything works out and then I'll complete the modifications to it and then it will be relatively representative of an actual village parang. But even in the state that it is right now, it's much more versatile for finer work. It's much more powerful for heavy chopping. It's much more comfortable and much more secure in hand. And it's also much more efficient. It has increased chopping and cutting ability, but it's actually lighter than the actual as-boxed version. So it will be interesting to use this. Hopefully it works out and I can complete the modifications.